This is a city of a few thousand people, so they're not going to be able to pay the ACLU's attorney's fees. They may want to concede the case now, pay whatever they need to pay now, and get the heck out. It's probably already in the five digits, knowing the ACLU. Frankly, that town should, should do itself a favor and get out of this one. So good morning, everyone, and welcome. I'm Leonard French, your favorite copyright attorney, and this is our first story of the week. Censorship stinks in Sibley, Iowa. Gee, I wonder where else we've seen a, uh, a title like that. This was the title of our own video that we, uh, that we put out last week, and so I'm very flattered that the ACLU thought that, that the title of their article should be similar. And what they write is about the settlement of the censorship in Sibley, Iowa, that was between the city and Josh Harms. He had opened up this website, Should You Move to Sibley, Iowa, and he was talking about the blood plant and how things were kind of stinky in the town. And he, I don't think he was saying, don't ever move here, just like, you should know this before you move here and find out that you, you know, moved to a stinky town. So, in December of 2017, the city of Sibley threatened me with a lawsuit if I didn't take down the content on this site. On March 9th, with the help of the ACLU, I filed a lawsuit against the city for violating the First Amendment and my right to criticize the government without fear of repercussion. On March 29th, 2018, a federal judge issued a permanent injunction blocking the city from making legal threats against me. With the injunction secured, I plan to continue using my skills as a web developer to help improve the lives of everyone living here by calling attention to the problems that we face. What you see below is the website as it's been since receiving the letter of, from the city in December. This website will be updated soon. I'm extremely grateful to the ACLU of Iowa for all of their help. If it weren't for them, I would have been lost. Please consider donating. And then he links to this article on their page from March 29th, in which the ACLU writes about the case and explains that there was a federal injunction issued on March 29th that... The city agreed, so that's important. Uh, the city agreed to to these uh, these terms, and it's it's a bit it's a bit validating, guys. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna take a moment here and toot my own horn. I think you may remember approximately a week ago when we released this initial story, I predicted that it would be best for the town to get out of this early and pay a small attorney's fee to the ACLU than to fight it and lose anyway and pay a large amount of money to the ACLU. Well, guess what happened? They are going to provide training to their staff, issue a written apology to Josh, and cover attorney's fees and damages early instead of late. That way, they eat the crow when young and tender. So they made a mistake, they fessed up to it only after a lawsuit. That lawsuit cost the city approximately $30,000, uh, plus whatever, you know, it, it, if they had any other expenses on their side. That was just their agreed-upon expenses uh, to cover Josh. So this is the stipulated injunction stipulated means agreed upon the parties agreed to this injunction not unlike the injunction that we still have against alex mauer so this is in the united states district court for the northern district of iowa believe it or not there is a northern district to iowa josh harms versus the city of sibley and the parties agreed to some findings of fact here while the defendants do not admit to every allegation in plaintiff's complaint, the parties jointly stipulate to the following facts. Harm has maintained the website. The website is critical of odors created by an industrial plant that produces additives for animal feed and the city of Sibley's efforts to address the odors which Harm's website criticized as inadequate. Of course, the website again is should you move to sibleyia.com, S-I-B-L-E-Y-I-A.com. Should you move to sibleyia.com? The odor caused by the plant has been a matter of public controversy in the city of Sibley. Among other things, on or about December 12th, 2017, Harms received a letter stating, I am writing to ask you to take down your site and not replace it with other derogatory material. If the website is not taken down, your next notice will be in the form of a lawsuit. 
In his verified complaint, Harms alleged First Amendment retaliation, prior restraint of free speech, viewpoint-based discrimination, and conspiracy to violate constitutional rights. In order to resolve the matter, the parties have jointly uh, motioned for the entry of the following stipulation. The entry of an injunction permanently enjoining the city of Sibley and the named defendants in their official capacities from directing harms not to speak with reporters, threatening to bring a lawsuit, or actually bringing a lawsuit against the plaintiff for speaking with reporters or publishing the website in its previous form, including SibleyStinks.com or any other successor website. So that's the stipulated injunction, and then of course uh, this is the terms of the settlement that they released that they will provide training to the city staff on what the First Amendment is and how it works, that they will issue a written apology to Josh himself, and they will cover $20,475 in ACLU attorney's fees and $6,500 in damages to Josh. Josh says, I'm happy that the city of Sibley has recognized that they were wrong to threaten me for the criticisms I've made and published online. Personally disagreeing with something that's been written is understandable, but threatening the writer with a lawsuit while representing the government is censorship. It violates the First Amendment and our freedom of speech. What do you think of that? Let me know in the comments below. Yes, we have a ton of new patrons this month. I, uh have them scrolling on the LED panel already, but I would definitely like to thank our $500 video sponsor, Kareem Harper. Thank you very much. I'll be in touch with uh, what Kareem would like us to, to produce um, very shortly here. Don't want to say too much until I've spoken to him. Thank you very much to our $50 plus supporters, DJ Gilcrease, John Steele, Gavin Bernard, The God Slain, Evie, Andy, Kyle Mudrock, John H. Anderson, Vera Montaigne, Sean McNamara, William Gonzalez, Michael Pierce, and LVE. Thank you all very much for your support. And the $5 plus supporters are scrolling on the LED panel behind me and on the, uh, will be on the screen on the video when it's produced. <laughs> the dog is pushing me out of the way. Hello, the dog. Hello, the dog. How are you? How are you? There are 210 $5 plus supporters. Raw. Thank you all very much for your support. Let me ah, yank this over this way and grab a dog treat for a dog. Hup. Good boy. Thank you very much to Kaylee for some healthy, waggy Easter peanut butter flavored cocoa and gluten free dog compatible Easter eggs. They're like chocolate flavored, but there's no actual chocolate or, or bad stuff in it. It's all dog compatible stuff. It's a made for doggy Easter egg. So we really appreciate that. That was super cool. Thank you very much, Killing. And that's our show. Thank you everyone for joining me. Of course, I am Leonard French, your favorite copyright attorney. And I'm going to go get some rest, and we'll see you in the next video.